Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I won't know until I edit this video, but I am pretty sure there's going to be a really bad echo. And I'm really sorry about that. If you may notice the background is different. The echo in this video is because I'm in a room that has barely anything in it. Just a bunch of suitcases and an air mattress because I just moved. So this is going to be kind of a new setup. I'm going to be figuring out how to do videos here and hopefully this echo will not be here for much longer but it, it might be just to warn you guys. So today I'm going to do a video that is going to have two sections. Or, depending on how long it is, I will split it up into two different videos. As you know, Inktober is almost here. Probably already here by the time I get this video up. But I've been planning for Inktober all summer. And if you saw one of my speed painting videos that I posted earlier this year, I think it was the zebra one, I had mentioned that Art Snacks was coming out with an Inktober collection. After it came out, I gave it a couple months considering, should I buy this? Should I not order this? Should I, what should I do? I ended up ordering it and it just came a couple days ago. So first of all, I will show you what's in this box and then we'll get into pricing and everything. The Inktober box is a special collection and Art Snacks does these special boxes every once in a while. They are not part of the regular subscription. You have to order them separately and it's a one-time fee. And all of the collection boxes have different pricing, I think, depending on what was in it. This is what it looks like in the inside. And it does look like a really fun box. There's a note in here from Jake Parker on the back of a special print of his. Jake Parker is the founder of Art Snacks. So Art Snacks collaborated with Jake Parker to come up with everything in this box. We have the Inktober sticker, the little snack. Then we have our price list and on the back of that we have a 31 days, 31 drawing calendar. And if you want prompts for every day, there are little prompts on each day of the month. First of all, we have the limited edition custom Inktober sketchbook by Denick. It's got the little Inktober logo here. And the paper is really smooth, but it's not very thick, which I thought was kind of surprising because ink tends to creep through paper pretty fast, but it's really nice smooth paper though. I would like to try it, but I have my doubts that I'll be keeping this box. So this has an $18 retail value. I really don't know that this is worth $18. That's just me. Next we have a Kuretake Zig Cartoonist Sumi ink. It says it's waterproof after it's dry, but I have heard some people say it's waterproof, some people say it's not waterproof, some people say they get a little bit of shading if they put watercolor over the top. So I'm not sure because I haven't ever used this brand of ink before. And this has a retail value of $8.50. Next we have a Princeton Kalinske brush. This is a sable brush. This retails for $29.95. We have a Copic Multiliner SP in 0.5. I've seen some people that got 0.3, some people got 0.5. I really don't like 0.5. I, I like really fine tips, but I love these Copic Multiliners. It's got an aluminum body and it is refillable, which is really, really neat. I really like that they included that because it is a really nice product and that retails for $9.95. Because we have our ink, we need something to use with it in addition to the brush. They sent a Kuretake Zig nib holder, just like that, and a package of the nibs for it and these are the... Oh, these are the Sage Pen, Sage, Sage Pen nibs. So the nibs themselves are $3.99 retail for a set of three, and the nib holder is $5 retail. I think it looks like a really cool set. I love dip pens. 
So this was neat that they included that. And then the last thing is a Pentel pocket brush with two refills. I have heard so many people say they love this brush so much and it's really cool that it's refillable. I've never tried it though, so I, I have no idea. This retails for $19.99. And that was the last thing in the box. So now we're gonna get into the pricing and my feelings on this box. Also at the bottom, they included a how-to ink class with Jake Parker, and they give you the little code and everything. It says it's a $25 value. The issue I have with that is, I don't know if they count that as part of the box's value. They did that with the lettering collection earlier this year and I was not impressed with that because they made it sound like they were including this free class just as an extra item, but they included the price of that class as part of the total estimate value of the box, which I thought was wrong because they, it was like a bonus thing that they just threw in for people. So I thought that was, wasn't right. There are seven items in this box. I thought there were going to be eight because of the wording that they had on their website. It said something about the Art Snacks collection box was going to include seven full-size art items for inking, an exclusive sketchbook, a print, and a calendar. Is it just me or does that sound like there would be eight items? They could have said seven items including this sketchbook instead of seven items and a sketchbook. So that was wording was a little bit off. I thought there were going to be more products in this box than there were. Full price retail value of all of these items added together is $95.38. This box cost $99. Paying full price, if you had put all of that in your cart and ordered it, you would have gotten free shipping. Personally, I can't afford to buy art supplies at full price very often unless I really need it and I can't find it on sale anywhere. It is very easy to find all of these products, except the sketchbook because it's specially made by Denik for Art Snacks, but all the rest of the products you can find for so much cheaper. Dick Blick or Amazon, I know you can get the Pentel pocket brush at Michael's and Michael's usually always has a 40% off coupon so there you can get that for 40% off. Now I don't want the, the whole view on this box to be negative although I just I can't get past the fact that it's so expensive. The things I liked about it though, I love the fact that they collaborated with Jake Parker for this and put together this little box of inking goodness for people to try out. I also really appreciate the fact that they are actually paying him for his help to collaborate. It, sometimes it's really hard as artists to get paid for your work. That also probably affected the price a little bit so that they could pay him and still make some money off of these boxes. But unfortunately, I think I'm probably going to be sending this box back. The idea, it was great. I hope they do it again, but I hope they kind of improve upon it a little bit. That's everything I have for the Inktober collection portion of this video. I'm really sorry if it came off completely negative. There are really good products in that box. I just personally can't afford to spend that much money on products that I can get cheaper somewhere else. 